Hey guys, it's Aaron, and today we're going to talk about syncing your models between SketchUp and Layout. So this isn't like exactly an advanced idea. Um, it is fairly simple, but it is something you're going to want to be very intentional about. So there is options as to how and when you're going to want to update your viewports and layout to show what's new inside of your SketchUp model, what has changed. And I wanna to just touch on that. We've had several people ask questions about this, several people struggle with this, uh, and there's a couple different things I wanna make sure we touch on, and uh, we're gonna do that right now. All right, so uh, I'm in SketchUp right now, and I have this model. This is the model that I wanna take into uh, layout. I made a couple of scenes. I made a side scene. So this is just uh, a parallel view from the side. I made one from the front as well. And I have both of these saved. They're saved into the model. And I took these already into layout. And let me just show you my super simple layout model right now, the, the, or my layout document. Real simple, I have a viewport here, a viewport here. Both the viewports have the background turned off, so I just wanted the model. Um, and you can see they both came in. I started doing some more, uh, like I started with some uh, uh, labels here. I, I got a, a call out for each of these uh, elevations and everything's going pretty good, except I don't like it. There are things I can change in here. So these are linked to scenes. So you can see here, I do have these different scenes turned on. Um, my scene for the side, you can see right here, it is set to scene side. Um, it is have ortho turned on. It is eighth inch equals a foot. Um, I have preserved scale turned on. I have the default shadow set. Pretty simple, pretty easy. This one, on the other hand, has been changed a little bit. If you come through a lot of it's the same. Um, but if I go to my effects, I can see shadows has this reset button here. As soon as that reset button shows up, it tells you that something has changed from the original model. So if I was to hit reset right now, uh, I would get this little, this little uh, message, this little caution sign right here shows up. The reason this shows up is because I always, 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 always set my viewports. I turn auto render off. I do this not because auto render is bad, not because it's a problem to have an auto render, but I like control. I'm a control freak when I come into my documentation. I like to know exactly what's going on, when and why. I would rather look for this little triangle and know that I should come up to update something rather than have it automatically do that and maybe make a change that I wasn't aware of or didn't want to have happen. So by keeping auto turned off, see on both my viewports, auto is turned off. This means if I want to re-render it, I have to come in here and I have to hit render. So you can see why I changed that viewport or that, that shadow originally. The shadows are a little long, they're casting all the way across here. So what I did, all I did was I just come, came in here and I clicked and I, uh, I changed that time a little bit and then I uh, got a better angle, so the less, less shadows. I still like some shadows on there, I think that looks cool, uh, but yeah, less shadows. Um, so let's go look through a couple things and see some more spots that I might want to make those changes. So watching things like that, watching for that reset button or that render button to show up is a big thing. Watching for the little triangle mark, that is another big thing. If that shows up, that means you need to make that you've made a change. Um, not a bad thing. People see that and go, oh no, there's a problem with my model. It's not a problem. Red's a problem. Yellow is just a heads up. That's, that's a good way to remember that. So if I look at this model and I go, okay, uh, this one down here, if I pick this, I can see this is eighth inch equals a foot. This one, to fit it on the page, I had to take to one inch equals uh, 10 feet. I don't like that scale. It's kind of a weird scale uh, for, for architectural models as far as what I'm used to. I would rather have that eighth inch equals a foot so it matches here. The problem is that with this, uh, this wall down here, it's kind of a retaining wall around a patio kind of thing. Uh, the, it doesn't fit on the screen. So I could do a couple things, I could chop it off. We talked about masking a couple weeks ago in a video. I could do some masking and chop that off, but I'm gonna say in my model, I wanna hop back over to my model and I just wanna turn this retaining wall off. I don't wanna include it in my documentation. 
So I'm gonna do that, I'm just gonna Alt-Tab and hop back into SketchUp. And simple, real easy, I'm gonna select this wall, I'm going to right click and hide it. And then because I want this to update, I'm going to right click on my front scene and I'm gonna say update. Now I'm gonna go to file, I'm gonna hit save. That now there's a new version of this file and this new version has an updated front scene. So that's what exists right now. So if I go hop back over into layout again, it doesn't come up and tell me that there's something wrong, right? It doesn't tell me that right here. Um, if I come in here to file, I'm gonna go to document setup, and I'm gonna look at my references. You can see that my reference here says old. So it knows that the content that is on the screen right now is an old cached version, a, a saved version of this SKP file that is different from what the actual SKP file contains. All I have to do to update this is click on it and hit update. Now, again, I do not want this to be automatic. I do not ever, 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 because I might have the changes that are in my SketchUp file might be something that's in flight. It's a thing that I'm considering. I'm playing with changing something or something like that. Maybe, maybe I'm going in and adding detail that I don't need to actually have connected to these drawings. I don't, just because I make a change in SketchUp doesn't mean that my layout file should update all the time. So that's why this is a manual process. I have the option of updating this. I do recommend if you are going back and forth making changes that you just come in here and uh, like I said, check references when loading this document. It checks automatically. It just doesn't do anything with it. And that is by design. So I'm gonna select that document. I'm going to say, update that. I covered up I covered up the uh, little triangle showing up. I'm gonna say update that. You can see right now it says it's current. I'm gonna hit close. And of course, to get that wall to go away, I'm gonna select that window and I'm going to say render. When I do that, that goes away. And now I have a much smaller model and I could come over here to my scale, jump up to eighth inch equals a foot. Again, I made a change, but because this is set to not auto render, I do have to come here and click the render button. Once I do that, it gets bigger. Um, I'm gonna have to change my, uh, see a little bit. So one of the things you're seeing right now is as I'm doing this, notice how that, that uh, little thing's showing up every time I make a change, every time I make a move. This is the double-edged sword, I suppose. Um, I could take this and I could temporarily turn on auto render while I'm going through doing this, right? I could, I, could, I could keep it on just long enough for me to get everything moved around and then turn it off again. But I would say when you leave this model, make sure that that auto is turned off. And like I just showed, as you make changes to your model, make sure you go into document setup and check the status of your linked files as you go make changes. It's not going to automatically come up, so I'm going to just like change your whole layout. Well, I mean, it shouldn't. You should not have it set that way. <laughs> so you want to make sure you come in and double check that and, and change those values to, or come in and update those files as you make those changes. It's a simple thing, but it is just a few boxes you need to check properly to give you the full control and not have it deciding when you should update things. Um, it would be great to just go, oh, just know when I want something to be changed. But unfortunately, connecting the save button in SketchUp to your actual documents and layout is just a way to take a wrecking ball to your work while you're not looking. So be intentional, go through and hit that update button when you want it to be updated and re-render those windows when they need to be re-rendered, not before. Hopefully that helped you. Um, we'd like to say we had lots of questions about that. Why am I, why do I get these little triangles showing up on my drawings? Why, why did I make a change in SketchUp and nothing happened? This is why. If you like that video, click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week and you'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly though, please leave us a comment down below. Let us know what you thought of this. Let us know if you have other layout tips that you think would make great videos 
Or if you just have some other idea that you think would make a good video for us, let us know that too. We love hearing from you. We read those every one of those comments. We like making these videos a lot. We like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.